I've been driving around in my car Looking for some kind of open bar It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright Got no money, but I'll work it out with my charm Having a good time, ain't doing no harm It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright So we are off on another adventure. I've literally been home for two weeks and you know there is no grass grown under my feet. We are not going to Europe. We are going to Cabo San Lucas, Mexico for some downtime and a little filming because I wanted to show you Cabo. It's really, really awesome meeting up with some friends there. We're gonna have an incredible time and you're coming with us. And there's one of my travel friends right now, Mr. Matt. Say hi, Matt. My bad. <laughs> all right, the crew is here. All of my friends are here. Laura, Matt, Barb, and Tony. And we're meeting Jerry and Diane later. Say hi, everybody. Hi. Um, I think we need a little bit more excitement. Try that one more time. <laughs> all right, let's go to Cabo. Gonna have a good time. We're going to Cabo, we're going to Cabo. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, you too. And he's off. So one thing to know about flying into Cabo, it's like any other mountain city. It's quite turbulent. So you need to prepare yourself for the arrival and the departure. Here we go. Hey ladies and gentlemen, we're late to welcome you to San Jose del Cabo and Cabo San Lucas where the local time is 2.20 p.m. There is no time change between Denver and Cabo. Make sure you have all of your personal belongings and be careful when opening the overhead compartment. So I am pissed because I just had to pay $80 because I'm bringing a drone into Mexico. So for all of my fellow creators out there, please hope and pray that you do not hit the red button because it's really kind of bogus. So I had to tell them exactly how much the value of the drone was. I said 500, it's more and I ended up paying $80 to bring the drone into the country. Big mistake. All right. <laughs> yes, we are off to see uh, Cabo. So we are headed to our place in Cabo San Lucas. It's about 35 minutes outside of where we're at here at the airport. Um, if you have them, get them pesos because you'll need it for the tollway. The tollway is the easiest way to take instead of taking the coast. You'll go straight to the Pacific side, which is where we're staying. Let's go to Cabo. So one of the things we've been talking about is actually how green and lush everything looks. We've come to Cabo before, and uh, in June, and it's definitely very um, desert-like. So tip is if you want to see nice, lush, green Cabo, come in September, but it is hurricane season. So when you take the tollway from the airport to Cabo San Lucas, um, the cost is around $4.90 in US dollars. So it's 97 uh, pesos or $4.90 in the US dollar.
Bienvenidos a Baja Peninsula. Welcome to the Baja Peninsula. We are in Cabo San Lucas and you are gonna have the ultimate food tour in this incredible Mexican destination. From incredible sushi to mouth-watering dishes all across this peninsula, we're gonna have one hardcore food tour. going to one of my favorite restaurants here in Cabo, which is Nick San for incredible Japanese and sushi. And when you're here in Cabo San Lucas, it's a must stop. It's one of my biggest pet peeves is when you go out for sushi, having plenty of wasabi is a must. One of the things that I like to do when I go to a restaurant, and it isn't any different here at Nixon, is by asking the house to serve what their specialties are for the evening, and we are getting that tonight. So we are gonna have a culinary journey one course at a time at Nixon. Wow. Oh my gosh, no, no, no. this is I so beautiful. Thank you. Muy bonito. Okay. Gorgeous. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Now what do we have okay. here? Negi age sashimi. Okay. Jusumiso. Y nikura sashimi. Wow. Nikura sashimi is a sea bass, crunchy capers, and crunchy rice, and little spices. Sea bass with capers, okay. And then this, what type of fish? This uh, coconut sauce. Okay. Little spicy and white fish. I love spice. Totoaba. Totoaba, okay. This a negiaga sashimi. This a crunchy este scallions. Okay. White fish and. It's very good. Thank you. Como se llama soy. Truffle oil sauce. Truffle oil sauce, wow. Truffle oil sauce, crispy scallions, beautiful white fish. This looks incredible, and only at Nixon. This is a uh, hotamiage, crunchy uh, scallop. Scallop, scallop, shrimp, sweet corn, and cream wasabi. Beautiful. I recommend two bites. Wow, Carlos, excelente. Thank you. Muchas gracias. All right, now this, yet another dish. This is incredible. Okay, this is a gnocchi roll, yellowfin tuna, avocado, shrimp, tempura, crab, a little spicy sauce, and lamb juice. Wow. I recommend it. Fantastic. That is incredible. Thank you, Carlos. Gracias. Gracias. Wow. We have an entire sushi feast tonight. So let's do this. All right, so we are gonna start with one of my absolute favorites, and in this crispy scallop, which looks absolutely fabulous. You know what? I don't think I can do chopsticks for this. There's no better way than to use the fingers. Mmm. Mmm. The scallop is beautiful. It is a crispy, almost a Dijon mayonnaise type aioli sauce. And then the outside is absolutely a beautiful crunch of perfection. The fish is delicate. It just literally melts on your tongue. And the scallion gives it that punch and crispy, almost like a French fried onion on top. It's fabulous. Wow, just when you think it's done, Carlos brings yet another thank course you. to the table. No, thank you. <laughs> this is incredible. Salmon. Yes. Salmon, green salmon, little spicy sauce, and a steamed rice. So the salmon looks beautiful. It has like a caramelized onion on top, and the rice has a beautiful seasoning. It looks like a lot of pepper on the outside of it, shaped in a beautiful triangle. How cute is that? Mm. 
this salmon is delicious. The outer edges of the salmon are perfectly crisp and the inside is super tender. Absolutely fabulous. Awesome. We are at Nick San, and when you want outstanding Japanese and sushi, make this your place to go in Cabo San Lucas. Muchas gracias! Yeah.